Hi everyone, in today's video we're gonna do the infamous Barbie. So I decided to do something a little different. I decided to pull out my practice hand and do this nail set. Let me tell you, I haven't used this practice hand since I bought it. Like, I kid you not. So my application is a little rough. It's a little rocky. But ain't nothing a little shaping can't fix. The shaping always come in handy. That's why it's great to have some good files on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my pink acrylic application. All four nails will be this pink application. And I know you see a little discoloration. It's because I just mixed a bunch of pinks together to get this one color. I don't have like a light pink. Honestly, when I look at my collection, I have only one pink and it's just this dark pink and I needed to make it lighter. So I just mixed some other colors together to make it this pink. But I feel like this pink was still a little dark, but it's okay, the set still turned out pretty. Did anyone go watch the Barbie movie? If you did, leave a comment below. I wanna go see the Barbie movie, but I've been hearing a little controversy about if it's kid friendly, if it's just adult friendly, and things like that. But honestly, what in this world is really kid friendly? Come on now, let's be honest. Nothing in this world is really truly kid friendly. So I feel like at the end of the day, if you're gonna take a kid, take a kid. If you don't, don't, then don't. But I, like I said, I didn't go see it. I'm going to take me and my kids because I'm a single mom and I want to go watch the movie myself. So I got to do what I got to do to experience my life. So I'm going <laughs> to let you guys watch my application process. Oh, and let me tell you guys, this is a semi-portrait. The Barbie that you guys see in the thumbnail, that's a semi-portrait. And the only reason why I say it's semi-portrait it's a full portrait. It is. Let me, let, me, let me not um let me not discredit my work like that. It's a portrait. I painted that portrait on my TikTok live. That was my first time ever painting a portrait, and I was like, "Girl, you're out of your mind. You're really about to paint this portrait on live. What if you mess up?" But I was like, "I don't care. Fear don't run me. I create my own life. So I'm gonna paint this portrait on live. So." I painted the portrait on live, downloaded it, edited some clips out, and bam, added it to the video. So, um, let me know what you guys think about the whole nail set and things like that. I know I should have put the Barbie logo on there. Don't kill me, Barbie fans. But it is what it is. I got the video out. So, yeah, enjoy the process of me doing the application, and I'll be coming back in and talk to you guys a little bit later with the nail art design. So, stay tuned.
We're checking the shape. She's looking good. This is the Beatles top coat I'm using. And if you want to use my discount code below to save some money off, I will leave it below in my description box. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat all four of the nails. You guys already know this is just how I prefer to paint on my nails. At first, this nail set right here, well, this pinky, is this the pinky? No, this is the middle finger. Okay, so I kind of was going back and forth with the designs, lollipops or hearts. I, I feel like I should have chosen lollipops in general because it screams Barbie more than hearts, but it is what it is. So I just decided to go in with the pink and I'm putting pink hearts on the nail. And then after I do that, then I'm, before I cure it, I'm going to get some glitter. I just got this glitter from Michaels. You can get it from Michaels, you get it from Amazon or small nail companies because I think some of them, some small nail companies sell glitter like this too. And before I cure it, I'm just going to go ahead and pour the glitter on top and then I'm going to cure it, then I'll wipe it off. So this is me doing the glitter pour. Oh, these hearts were so pretty. Next, I decided to do the pinky and do some swirls. So I'm going ahead and doing the swirlies on the pinky nail. I didn't have a particularly particular way on how I wanted to do the swirls. I was just like, mm, I'll just do what I think works best. But I feel like I want to get beyond the swirls. Like there's there's type of intricate long nail art that I'm intrigued to doing, like um, filigree 
and other things like that. And it's like some some other type of line art. I see this. I see a few new artists do it, but it's like so tiny lines. I really want to get into that because I feel like that will also help my nail art be more versatile and things of that nature. Like I said, I still like like the way how this set turned out. I feel like I probably could have did it a little better, but I'm still satisfied. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys the portrait outline. So I'm just starting with the outline of her face. You really can't see it because I'm using like a light brown for the startup of it. But once I start shading it in, you'll be able to see a little better. So now I'm shading in Barbie and honestly, I, I really sped up this whole process like it sped up to like 5.0 speed and it still seems like I'm painting slow but I did want to go ahead and give you girlies the detail or guys if you're watching no discrimination over here I just want to go ahead and show you guys the detail intricate of how it is to paint a portrait and I would love for you guys to try this design out and just you know test your nail art skills you just never know how something's going to turn out don't let fear run your life don't let fear control your life because if I was so scared to paint this on live I would never have gotten this result and you know I'm very happy with this portrait like this is my first portrait I ever painted I love the way it turned out and I'm super excited to see like where my nail art career takes me going forward in the long run So now I'm going in with this yellow and I'm going to go ahead and start working on the top part of her hair, which is the bangs. Now I'm moving into the hairline, so I'm going to use some light brown. You really can't see. I'm gonna try. I try to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit more, but it still didn't even zoom in. So I'm using light brown, and I'm doing like thin, thin, thin line strokes. So I'm using light brown on top of the yellow make sure it's cured and i'm going to go in with some white as well and stripe that in and that's going to give it that more of a realistic look This is when stuff started getting real. I'm like erasing, going back, erasing, going back. I'm just like, girl, relax, take a step back, 
look at the proportions and you will get it done. So all you just gotta do is take a little breather in between because sometimes painting can be a little frustrating, kid you not. So it took me about two to three tries to get her eyebrows and her eyes the correct proportion. But once I was able to get it done, I was, I was pretty much satisfied with how they looked. Now I'm working on the eyes. What I thought works best for me is one line on the left and then copy it just like that on the right. So therefore I can get like the correct proportions and make sure that her eyes are evenly layered and she's not looking cross-sided. Because once you put that in the lamp, once you cure it, it's over with. That's the only thing about gel polish, it's over with. Once you, once you put in the lamp, you either going to fix it or you're going to start the whole nail over. And both of those wasn't an option. So <laughs> now I'm shading it in with some white. Then we're going to go in with her eyes. With my 3D brush, I'm just doing a little smudging just to give it that little bit more shaded dimension look. And then I'm going to go in using my thinner liner part of my brush and I'm going to make the end of her eyelashes. I 
popping up, throw up the sex in her. Now I decided to do a bubble and I love the way the shaded part looks when I did the bubble. So I'm going to start with the white, then I'm going to color it in with the pink on top just because I wanted it to pop a little bit more. Thank you so much if you have made it this far to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching me paint my first portrait. Don't forget to like the video. The least you're going to do is hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. But anyway, again, let me know what you think about the Barbie nail set. And if you want to go watch the Barbie movie, let me know your thoughts about it below. Again, I'll be tuning in with you guys on the next video, which I want to see next. Which I want to see next. Let me know. Don't be afraid to comment. I'm friendly. Don't be afraid. I am here. But, yeah. So what I did also was I cured that and I'm going to go in with a darker shade of pink. And then all you see I'm doing basically is feathering that out to give it that effect of a darker versus outer, outer ring of the bubble but yeah that's basically how i painted my first portrait thank you again for so much tuning into the channel have a nice lovely day bye are you ready, are you ready? <laughs> yes i am they say you a superstar now damn i guess i am you might be the man well that's unless i am <laughs> okay i'll confess i am go ahead and get undressed i am I don't want pull no trigger. I just want me. What's up, man? I don't want no wahala. 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 No